This week, you're gonna hear a lot about the Apple Vision Pro, but even more important, you're gonna start hearing the term spatial computing, which is part of the next chapter of how humans are gonna interact with the digital world. Up until this point, we've been in the personal computing and mobile computing era. How we interact with the digital world is through our computers or through our phone. But in spatial computing, the space around us is the computer. The digital world is overlaid on the physical world. You don't lose sight of what's going on in the physical world. You still see everything that's in the actual room that you're in. But everything that would have been on your phone or on your computer screen is just laid in front of you. And we interact with it simply by moving our fingers and moving our eyes, phasing out physical keyboard and eventually devices more broadly. And I'll get to that in a second. Now, arguably the best spatial computing product is the Apple Vision Pro. Here's a screenshot of a Wall Street journalist cooking. She's able to pull up the recipes and instructions right on top of the actual things that she's making. And while FaceTiming with loved ones currently looks like this in the Vision Pro, it will eventually look like this as if they're actually in the room with us. And that will get more and more real and immersive over time. Picture what entertainment will or could become. Now you're going to hear a lot of people say, I wish would never wear or buy this product. It looks crazy, it's $4,000, it's really heavy, and that's kind of all true. And that's because this product isn't necessarily supposed to go mainstream. It is very inaccessible because it's a transition product. This is just the beginning of the era of spatial computing, and the beginning of the end of the era of smartphones and more personal computing. We're talking like a 10 year transition here, but eventually these products won't be massive headsets. It will be smaller ambient devices, picture like an AI powered AirPod, thin AI powered smart glasses, and perhaps eventually contact. What I love about spatial computing is it's less leaving the moment like we do with cell phones, instead just overlaying what we need on top of the physical world. And let's not forget a product that was supposed to fail miserably was the iPhone. It's forecasted that nobody would use it. So as I've said time and time again, smartphones will eventually go away as the history of phones has always shown. I mean, where's your home phone? And always remember that every technology is fundamentally a bridge to the next technology.